In this video, we will discuss combining datasets. There are different ways of combining datasets. For example, concatenating, one-to-one -one reading, match merging. In this class, we will only discuss how to do those tasks uh, using data step. Later, we will discuss how to do that using proxy code. The first one is concatenating. So SAS just appends uh, the observations from one dataset to the other. So this is the syntax. Uh, you, in the data step, you just specify name of the output dataset. So then set statement, you just list uh, the name of the, the dataset you want to concatenate together. So what SAS do is, so SAS uh, will read all observations from the first data and then observations from the second data and so on until all the listed data have been, have been read. So the new data set will contain all variables and observations from all of the input data set. So look at as this example. Suppose we want to concatenate data data one and data two. So they have one variable uh, with the same name, num, num, right? And so they have variable one and variable two. Variable one only in the first data. Variable b only a uh, only exist in the second data. So after we con concatenate them together, you can see, uh, so we have three rows, three, three rows. So in the resulting data, we have uh, eight rows. Yeah, so the first three, three rows comes from the first data. Next three rows comes uh, from the second data. And so in the resulting data set, so essentially we just combine all uh, variables together. Yeah, so uh, for num, so it appears in both data set. So the values, see, basically we just uh, uh, stack those values together. And uh, so if a variable does not uh, exist in one data set, so in the resulting data set, uh, so the corresponding value will be, will be missing. Yeah, so like, see, uh, in the, for the first three rows, uh, the value of uh, variable B will be, will be missing. And so for the last three observations and values for uh, variable A will be missing. Yeah, so let me maybe try that in SAS. So we have a uh, data one and a data two. Yeah, so each of them so has three variables. They are, they are called ID and Y and X. So they have the same name of variables. So then I use data create a new data set, I call it one, two, okay? I want to uh, essentially just stack uh, data one on top of data two, yeah. So use the set statement. So after I run that, so let's check the result. Yeah, you can see, so in the resulting, in the resulting data, I have uh, three, I mean six, rows in total, right? So first three comes from data one, and so the last three comes from data two. So if we have different names, data three, you can see I have ID, Y, and Z, right? But in data, data one, I have ID, Y, and X. So we have Z, X in uh, data one, we have Z in data three. So then if we want to concatenate them together. So using a set statement, you can see, well, so those are missing, right? Yeah, because in the first uh, data, there is no variable Z. Yeah, so the corresponding value will be missing in the resulting data. And uh, so for uh, variable in the remaining uh, three call uh, three rows, yeah, so that because there's no value x in the in the third data, right? So the value are missing. Uh, but uh, in practice, in many scenarios, so this is not what we want. So maybe just uh, they should be the same variable, but uh, just happens to have different name in different data set. So what I want to say is we want to basically stack four, six, and eight. So just below uh, this variable x. 
So what we can do is, well, so we can choose a rename option, rename option, right? And so uh, to uh, then basically rename the variable z to x and then uh, concatenate, concatenate them together. Yeah, so then you run this one. Well, so then this uh, may not uh, usually, so this is what uh, we want. Yeah, because if uh, two variables ha uh, have different uh, variable names, it's seldomly, it's uh, seldom, seldomly uh, we want to concatenate them together. Read some comments. So uh, variables of the same name in different data set must have the same type. So I mean, so they have to be, both of them are numerical or maybe both of them are character. Yeah, so otherwise SAS will stop and issue an error. But if some other attributes are different, for example, so the length, a labor and uh, format. So if those are different, so SAS will take uh, attribute uh, from the first uh, data set. Uh, when some variable in one data set does not exist in another, right, so SAS will include all variables in the resulting data set and the uh, missing value will be assigned. Yeah, so we've already uh, seen this. Uh, use rename option to change variable names and uh, we also discussed that. So uh, the, this option uh, just is used after, I mean just follows uh, the name of a data set and so we put that in parentheses right so you just say name equals so then in this uh, in another parentheses so you just list name i mean older name equals new name yeah so then sas will just uh, when sas uh, load this data sas will use the new name to replace the older name so by statement is also uh, helpful so what is what uh, I mean is, so you look at here, so the first three, so basically SAS first include uh, the observations from the first data set, right? And then observations from the second data set. Yeah, but however, so I may want to uh, put, I mean, arrange the row basically according to the value of ID. So this is essentially called uh, interleaving. Right. So for example, see we have data one, data two, they have different years. So in the resulting data, so I want those values are essentially sorted. Right. Yeah. So of course, so you can first uh, concatenate, uh, concatenate uh, two data set together and then sort. Yeah. But however, so using uh, a by statement here directly. Yeah. So it will, uh, it will be much more efficient. Right. Of course, uh, if you since you use a by statement, uh, the both data should be sorted. Uh, it should be sorted in advance. Yeah. So let me check that. Of uh, course, those data, data one and data three, has all already been sorted, right? So then I use the by statement. Yeah. In uh, in the concatenating. Right. See one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So uh, the data uh, will be sorted automatically yeah so then you basically you uh, you can avoid uh, to use a proc sort again so the next one called one-to-one -one reading so this just like you put data side by side and want to uh, combine them together yeah so combine rows uh, from a uh, two or more data set by creating rows that containing all of the columns uh, from each contributing uh, contributing data set so rows are combined based on their relative position in the data set. Yeah, so the data program stops after it has reached the last row from the smallest, from the smallest data set. Compared with uh, concatenating, see con con concatenating, we have one set statement followed by two data set. Yeah, but here we have two set statement. So look at this example. So the first data, we have uh, three rows. The next data, we have two rows, okay? And so in the resulting data, we have only two rows, two rows, right? And uh, 
uh, variable A and variable 2, uh, I mean variable A and variable B, so that's easy to, to see, yeah, because SAS just copies the related information uh, from uh, the first data and the second data. But for num, you can see, so first, in the first row, so first SAS read the value of 1 uh, from the first data, right, and then read the value 2 for for num in the second data. So basically 2 will replace the value 2. I mean replace the value 1 as the I mean in the resulting data. So similarly in the second row, so SAS uh, first read 3 from from data set C, right? And then read data f I mean value 4 from data D. So 4 will replace 3. Yeah. So then in the resulting data uh, we will have 4 here, right? See, uh, if the data set contains uh, variables uh, that have same value, I mean same names, the values uh, that are read from the last data set overwrite the values uh, that were read from uh, earlier data. So also SAS provides this option, but uh, in my mind, so this is not a good way uh, to do, yeah, because uh, so first you need to make sure so observations are sorted in in the same order yeah but uh, in many cases so this may cause uh, some issue yeah i mean if you are not careful enough right so then the result uh, may not be uh, what you expected so we demonstrated that in here so i just use one to one reading for for data one and two uh, maybe i show use pro, uh, pro print uh, data one data 1 and data 3, sorry. We show data 1 and data 3 together with the resulting data. Yeah, so let me run that. Right, you can see in the resulting data, because we have uh, id and y, id and y, so those are a uh, variable in common. So then in the resulting data, so those id and y, so they are essentially the value in the second uh, data, right? Yeah, but for x and z, because uh, they are unique for each of the data, so then we have the value uh, as in uh, the original data. Yeah, so this is one-to-one -one reading. Next one called uh, match merging. So this is the most commonly used uh, approach uh, to combine uh, two data set. So we just see a merge statement, so followed by uh, a list of data set. So then we will have a by statement. So this by statement just specifies so how to use a variable in one data to link observations uh, to the other uh, data. For example, so we want to match merge data A and data B. Okay, so the by, I guess, so by here will be the num and num, right? You can see because the, uh, we have one, I mean, num equal to one in the f set A and one in set B. So these two will be matched together. So in the results in data set, you can see, so the corresponding variable A and B, right? So it would be A1, so this corresponds to one, right? So B1 corresponds to one in the second data. So also, similar to the second row yeah so one i mean two and two will match but for three there's no match right so then we have three here and so the value of uh, variable b will be missing and for four in data set b so there's no match okay so then we have four in the resulting data set and variable a is missing okay so this is match uh, merging well, so in most cases, uh, we will have one-to-one -one merge. One-to-one -one merge means in basically for both data set, uh, those by variable, that ID variable, that's unique, right? See, here we have A, I mean, A, B, C, D, so they are unique. In the second data set, A, C, E, they are unique. Yeah, so then we match A with A, match C with C. Of course, so there may be some uh, observations uh, without matching. Uh, one to many and many to one, so that's also understandable, right? See, we have a, a unique variable, so in the first data set, but we have two rows with A in the second data set, 
right? We have two B in the second data set. So this means one to many uh, match. And so the similarly we have many to one match. Okay. So then we may also have many to many match. But uh, usually so for many to many match, you need to be very careful. So whether this is uh, what you need or not. In fact, in most uh, practice, so one to one a match or maybe one to many match, many to one match, so that's meaningful. Yeah, but many to match, uh, many to many match, usually uh, that's not meaningful. Usually, so that may not be the uh, be the thing you want. Yeah. So uh, for many to many match, so what SAS do? So I use this as an example. So I have the first, second data I want to uh, merge them together. See, in the first one, I have 3A. In the second one, I have 2A. So when we match the first with the second one, so what SAS do is, so the first A here, and the first A, so we'll match, produce this row. Then second A, second A will match, produce this row. And so then for here, uh, SAS goes to the third A, yeah, but in the second data set, so there's no third A, right? So SAS just stay with the last row. You can see, so essentially, so this 5, A5 will be matched with A negative, four, negative 2. So uh, resulting this row here. Yeah, so basically, when those many to many merge, uh, the last row uh, will be repeated. Let me check this again. Uh, 2B and the 3b, right? So if we want to do this match, so the first b is matched with the first b, so produce uh, this uh, this row. So then we have second b and the second b, oh sorry, second b, so produce the second b, right? So in the resulting data set. Yeah, but for the first one, cause we've already exhausted, e exhaust uh, b, so then SAS just reuse the last row, the last b. And so then this will be matched with the uh, the third B in the second data set. So produce uh, the this row in the resulting data. Okay, for those uh, row without matching, of course. So SAS just includes them, and so uh, fill in a missing value if necessary. Yeah. So this is many to many merge. So let me show that uh, in in code merge. So we have a data four. So I want to merge one uh, with four, right? Yeah, so I want to merge that with one with four. So this is first is one. Okay, so why I have so many of them? Yeah, so I print uh, one and four, okay? One, four, and so the resulting one, right? Yeah, see we have one, two, one, three, four, I mean one, three, five, one, three, five. So then SAS just match them, see, uh, one X, X, U. So we have one variable in common. So if they have one variable in common, <coughs> the value from the last data set will replace uh, the value in the previous uh, data set. Okay, right. Yeah, so for, for, for variable uh, without, uh, I mean, with different name, so SAS just uh, keep them. Okay, yeah, so this is merge. <clears throat> yeah, so this just shows well. So if you maybe you want to uh, see in this case, if you want to put them side by side, so usually for this x x, you do not want uh, the second x replace the first one. Yeah, because in cases, uh, in most cases, so they may not be the same variable, right? And so then you just use rename. Okay, so rename x for, I mean x in. In, in the second data as x1, and then you merge them together, right? See, you will have x and you will have x1, right? So x1 is in the uh, second data. So this just try to demonstrate a one to many. Uh, I think so this is many to many. Uh, this is many to many. Yeah, so this is just what I, uh, the example I, uh, mentioned mentioned uh, in in slides right see I have here I have three one 
for, for the ID, right? I have three one, but we have two one here. So in the resulting data, data we have only three one. So uh, this minus two, so this is repeated, right? So minus two, minus two, right? So this Y, this comes from the first data. We have two, three, and five. Two, three, and five. Yeah, but for X, we have minus one, minus two, minus two. See, minus one, minus two. So this minus two repeated. Yeah, so this is just a many to many, okay? Uh, we can also have something called one-to-one -one merging. So the difference is, so there is no by statement. So if you drop the by statement, so this behavior is very similar to a one-to-one -one reading. Yeah, but the difference is for one-to-one -one reading, uh, the resulting data set equals uh, to the uh, number of observations uh, in the smallest data set. Yeah, but this one uh, just uh, the number of observations is the number of observations with in the largest data set. Yeah, so that's the only difference. So again, so I do not recommend you to use one-to-one -one merge. Yeah, so usually, so when we want to use a uh, merge so you should use a uh, with a by statement yeah so should use the uh, match merging uh, in data set option so what's that so with uh, this is the option in the i mean uh, for 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 i mean after it's placed after the name of the sas data set so this one just will create a temporary uh, variable yeah, so in equals, so this will be a name of the variable, so will be a, a temporary one. So it has two values, so either zero or one. Yeah, so uh, if the this current observation does not contribute to the resulting data, yeah, so the value will be zero, so otherwise the value will be one. So with uh, this uh, option, so this option is very useful. So let me show this, uh, demonstrate that in here. For example, so I have uh, two data set. So one corresponds to set stat 7000. So the other is stat uh, 7020. Yeah, so just corresponds to uh, student information and scores uh, in two uh, courses. So if I use merge, so these two data set, I use by ID, right? So by this one, the default one. So in the resulting data set, so I will include all students from uh, both class, right? So maybe the student only, uh, I mean, only in one class, yeah, but as a resulting data set, so it will contain, so all such uh, student. But if you want to only keep uh, students in both class, so you want to keep students registering in both class, so then, See, in here, so you create a, a temporary variable in 7000. For here, you create a variable in uh, 7020, right? So then you say if in 7020 and in 70, uh, in 7000 and in 7, 7020. See, because uh, the value will be 1 if the student in this class, right? For, for this variable, the value will be 1 if the student in the second class. Yeah, so then this uh, is true only if, so both values are one. So it means uh, students are in both class. Yeah, so in this way, so in the resulting data set, so I just include student uh, in both class. Yeah, so in terms of set, right? So this just like the union of students. So this just like the intersection of students. For this one, if uh, in 7000, yeah, so then I only, I include all students uh, in 7000. Uh, so no matter the student uh, taking 70, 20 or not. Okay, right. Yeah, so then this just use this uh, in this option. So then we can just uh, create different type of merging. Yeah, so then we will demonstrate that here. Uh, so first, I just create the data uh, in in five and in six. So notice, so this is a, a temporary variable. 
So it means so the value will not be written to the output uh, data set. Yeah, so here I just uh, create a variable and I, I, I just assign the value of the temporary variable to those variable. Okay, see, if you run this one, you will see uh, when you combine, right, see, this basically the data set five, so contribute to the first uh, seven observations. And so the uh, data set six contribute uh, to to all observations except uh, the uh, the observation seven, right? So if I want to keep, so this is just uh, want to keep uh, variables in in six, right? Uh, sorry, uh, if in five, right? I want to keep observations in. Uh, so if uh, those appears in uh, data five, yeah, but for those observations in data six or not. So if uh, if there's no matching in data five, so uh, so I will drop that, essentially. See, this is those, right? Yeah. Because in the original data, so let me show you. Uh, pork print data five. Pork print data six. Yeah, so if you run this one, so what I want to say is, see, for the ID, so in five, right, so we have one, two, three, yeah, but there is no four. So so in the resulting data set, we have only one, two, three, ID, uh, one, two, three, yeah, but uh, four is not included. Similarly, so if you only want to include ID appears in, uh, in data six, so here I say if six, right? Okay. Right. See, so there's no three. Yeah, because uh, there's no ID three because uh, in data six uh, we have no ID three. So in this way, I just include observations in both data. Yeah. So the resulting data should should have only ID equals uh, one and two. Yes, only one and two. Okay. So that's this one. Uh, updating. So what is updating? Just uh, consider this scenario. Suppose you have a master data, so that's the large data set, so contains many historical information. So then you have a new data, right? So this data may contain uh, information for some new year, or maybe contains some correction uh, from, I mean, for previous years. So what you want to do is you just want to replace, I mean, for example, for a year 2008, right? You want to retain, uh, I mean, replace uh, the this value x1 by this value x2, right? For for maybe for the year uh, 2009, right? So you just want to replace uh, the value x1 y1 by the new value x2 y2, and so you also want to add information for for a new line. I mean, for for year 2012, yeah. So basically, you just want to update i mean some value in a existing data set yeah basically so let me repeat so for updating so it will update a data set uh, so updating a data set so replace the value of variables in one data set so this is called master data set so with values from a another data set yeah so which is called a transaction data uh, when you write code so just in this way see this master is the same as the master right yeah so of course you just updating uh, the that master data set yeah so with the by by statement so this is updating and uh, updating the transaction data may contains missing value so we can use the update mode uh, option in the update statement to, to control so how to update values by uh, missing values so the uh, default one is uh, the missing check right so means so if uh, the transaction data contains a missing value so then the uh, value in the master data so will not be uh, replaced yeah so look at here see in for uh, 2008 so the variable one is missing right so in the resulting data set 
we have the value y1 here, right? So this value is not uh, replaced, okay? Oh, I think so there is an error here. Yeah, so for 2010, uh, this is missing. So basically for this value, uh, it should be, it's still 2000. Oh no, uh, this is uh, should be uh, replaced, see? Because here I have two rows of 2010, right? So the first one just includes the value of the variable X. So when you run and uh, update this row, so uh, the row, I mean the value of x1 here, so will be replaced by x2. Yeah, but uh, this missing, so uh, so so uh, the y1 should be uh, still there. Yeah, but after SAS read the next row, uh, so just updating the value of y1, right? So the y1 will be replaced here. Yeah. Yeah, but for here, so 2008, so there's only one row of 2008, right? So the missing value will will not uh, will not be will not be used uh, to replace the existing value. Yeah, so this is uh, what does it mean by the update model equals a missing check. So for non-missing check, uh, no missing check, right? So just means, so even if the transaction data contains a missing value, so that missing so will be used to replace the original value in the master data set. So the next one is called uh, modify. So modify is similar to uh, updating, right? Yeah, but uh, uh, modify cannot create a new data set, but update can. Uh, what we mean is, see, for modify, this master, this master, so must be the same. Yeah, but uh, for updating, this master, master, so they can be the same, or so uh, this uh, output data, you can specify a new data set. So that's also fine. Yeah, but for modifying, cannot create a new data set. Uh, modifying does not require that the master data set or the transaction data uh, to be sorted. Uh, this is better, <laughs> right? Yeah, but uh, for this one, because we have a by, by statement, so data must be sorted according to, to year. Yeah, but this one, uh, data does not need to be uh, sorted. Okay. So when you use a by statement with modify, so both the master and the transaction data can have observations with duplicate values of a uh, by variable. Yeah. So uh, if master has a duplicate, transaction has no duplicate, right? So just apply the uh, current transaction to the first occurrence in the master dataset. So if the master data set has no transaction, I mean, no uh, duplicate and the transaction has duplicate, so the observations are applied uh, one on top of the other so that the value override each other. So basically, uh, the value in the last transaction data is the final value in the master data set. Yeah, so if uh, or both master and the transaction has duplicate, yeah, so and thus will apply each transaction to the first occurrence of the group in the master data, data set. So this is the behavior of SAS if you have a duplicate. Uh, this is a comparison of merge and uh, update and uh, modify. So, uh, so whether the data must be sorted. Yeah, so if you want to do a match merge, so your data should be sorted. Yeah, but for one-to-one -one merge, uh, no. Yeah, because if you use match merge, so you will have a by statement, right? Yeah, but one-to-one -one merge, so there's no by statement uh, is needed. And uh, for update, so data must be sorted. Yeah, but for modify, uh, you, your data does not need to be uh, sorted. So whether your data must have unique value, yeah, so for merge and for modify, no, right? Yeah, but uh, for uh, if you want to use update, so so master data so must uh, have unique value. Yeah, but for transaction data, you does not need to have a uh, 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 unique value. Yeah, so whether uh, you can create or delete variables in that data step for merge and for update, 
Yes, yeah, but for modify, no. So how many data can be combined? So in the merge or update in modify uh, statement. So in merge, so can be any number. Yeah, but for update or modify, uh, at most uh, two variable. I uh, sorry, uh, two data set. So one will be the master data data set. So I mean the first data data set is master data set. The next one will be a uh, transaction uh, data set. So for missing value, and uh, so if you use merge, so uh, so it will override a non-missing value from the uh, first data with a missing value from the second data. Yeah, but for update and modify, so you can use update mode option to control uh, whether missing value will be used to replace value in the master data. 